Hey guys, welcome to the JB Nature Walk. I'm Jabal Abami from the JB Photos at Co. We use my nature and my photography website. And today I'm doing a book review on Animal Speak by Ted Andrews. You can buy this book on Amazon. Basically the book is about this decoding the spiritual meaning of nature and animals, and even landscape and stuff like that. So how do I use this book? Why do I love it so much? The universe and our subconscious mind communicates messages to us every day. And it also communicates the messages to us through numbers, nature, just events that happen in our life, even through events. So I'm going to give you an example. So a couple of nights ago, I had a dream about a skunk, and I'm probably going to read the page up for you guys. So the skunk is about assertiveness, sensuality, the sense of smell, and stuff like that, and self-assuredness. So, and the thing is, I saw it during the day, which is ironic, which is interesting because skunks are nocturnal, but in your dream, Anything is possible. The subconscious mind is trying to show you something in the dream, especially something out of the ordinary. And skunks are, they're nocturnal. So the subconscious mind wanted you to see that animal for a reason. Look it up, figure out what, what it wants you to eat, what it wants you to know about the animal. I don't know if I can find it in here. If I can't, it's okay. Yeah, the skunk's all about, I looked it up, the skunk, and it's about self-assuredness. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, sensuality, respect, self-esteem. So those are the main things I need, I need to get from the skunk. Uh, being more self-confident, being more self-assured, staying your ground, speak. Speak what you believe in, stuff like that, and do not hesitate. Just go for it. Just be you, basically. That's basically what I got from the skunk. Um, yep, so just two nights ago, I looked it up. I so, said, oh, okay, that's what the skunk was trying to tell me. And I saw it in the day, so I know the subconscious mind was telling me to look this, look up the skunk for that reason. It could have been a night, and maybe the subconscious mind didn't want you to. Maybe it did, but. He was during the daytime, so like the daytime which is the conscious mind, so he definitely wanted me to look this up. So look up these traits so you can be more aware of it. And basically that's what it is. That's what I got from the dream. Another thing too, I saw yesterday, I saw Lodge Cooper talk. This is sort of like an anniversary for me. Around this time of year, remember I told you guys I saw a Cooper talk eating a bird? Okay, well, the same thing happened, this is around Christmas time, it is around Christmas. The same thing happened again. So I could have talked just yesterday and he was eating a bird. And this is definitely an anniversary for me. This is why I even got into nature and photography as well. Um, so basically, I got, the message I got from the hawk yesterday is that take advantage of your opportunities. Don't overlook anything. And it's cold outside. I was cold. So when, when these times are tough and lean, Take advantage of opportunities. That's what I mainly got from the Cooper's Hawk and they're shy birds. Well, shy or not, guys, take advantage of opportunities. That's going to serve your purpose. And that's mainly what I got from the, the, the Cooper's Hawk yesterday. Just take advantage of it. You can be shy or not. That shyness is going to shy away once you assert yourself. All right? I'm just giving you an example of two animals. So it talks about landscapes, like I said, all the animals, insects, reptiles, amphibians, bird mammals, all that good stuff. Even talks about the, the color meanings, spiritual meanings of that. Um, the elements, directions, let's say from west, and the elements, it could be like, like trees and plants and stuff like that. Feather magic, I'm not even finding all this stuff in here, guys. It's a, it's a really detailed book. But, um, yes, symbolic of trees and flowers, stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And, um, so one of the main, the main message I wanted to get you, that I wanted to express about why I love this book is, actually, there's one question I want to ask you guys. So what is your favorite 
animal totem? Like, what's your favorite animal totem? And what animal are you scared of? So, that being said, look up both of them. Yeah, they're both important. The animal you're scared of, look it up. Look it up what, what emotions are triggered by that animal. I mean, what, what, look up the emotions that the animal is triggering, triggering inside you. But like, why is it causing you this fear? Look up those traits and figure out how can I unrepress those traits. Like, why is it bringing this up to me? And I did this one time. I looked up the boss. Boss, I'm scared of. So, um, looked it up. And we actually got a lot in common. The animal I'm scared of, we have a lot in common. Um, they do not like authority figures. They hate that. I, I don't like it either. I don't like authority figures at all. Those are the main things. And another, the main thing I got from the boss is we do not have to like the authority figure or whatever you don't like, but you gotta tolerate them. And I've been telling myself that for years. And it's something you gotta buy. You don't have to, you don't have to like them, but you have to tolerate them. That was one of the main messages I got from the walls. And of course the wall is doing his own thing, of course, but he has to deal with things he doesn't want to deal with. And that's one of the main thing, main things I got from the walls. So if I didn't read that, then I look at the walls differently now. It's like the walls isn't so bad anymore. And the rave, they're feminine energy, so I like this, this different type of walls, the solitary and the colony one. I'm more afraid of the solitary, I mean not the solitary, the colonial one. Because there's more of them that can attack you. But it's not really about they can, they can attack you, but I'm thinking there's a lot of, since they represent feminine energy, I've always been afraid of a lot of criticism from women. Most women. Solitary is not that I more really, I relate more to the solitary one, but you can still look that up. But that's not the main issue. Look up the one you're most scared of, right? And that's the colony wasp. So I'm more afraid of that one than the solitary. Solitary is a good starting point, but for me, you need to go to more of the colony one. So more, I was more afraid of the criticism of different women about what they think about me and pains and all that stuff. Like, so that up. Uh, that's why I made got from. So I learned some stuff from the walls, and that, that's the main thing. You know, we just have, I learned the most interesting part, I learned we have more in common than we think. So look up those traits to your shadow side, the things you're scared of, and see how you can relate to that. And what can you do to unsuppress those emotions and get to the deep dive of why that, why those emotions are popping up, and then the emotions would just go away, basically. It would flow, or not go away, but transform themselves into a positive form of energy. Um, another thing is you look up the animal totem, spirit animal. So animal totem is the animal, is the animal that's going to be there with you for life. Spirit animal is there temporarily, but spirit animals can become your animal totem if you allow them to. If you just want to continue, if you're just so drawn to an animal for some reason, you know, it's your first time seeing it, and you just been studying for years and it then becomes the animal too. Because why not? At that point it is. Just look up why you're drawn to this animal. Where are traits you can work on in yourself. And then go from there guys. Like I love hawks. Um they're all about aware awareness, assertiveness, masking energy. This stuff like that. Just be more alert about your surroundings and what you're doing. That's what I mainly got from the hawk. And it's been there for me, been there, been there with me for years. And it's definitely one of my animal totems. So look up your positive traits and your negative traits. Shadow, totem, negative traits, animal totem, positive traits. Even if they both can pass all of that. So though, that's the main question you ask you guys. What are your animal totems, spirit animals, and what are your shadow, shadow animal totems? Look into that. And you just look, of course. Um, yeah, this book is really detailed. Um, I love Decoding Nature Animal. This is how I actually got into Decoding Nature Animals to read this book. And you can buy this book on Amazon, and it was speak by Ted Andrews. I'll put the links in the description. And I have something else to show you guys. This is my own book, my first book. 
And I'll put the links in the description. It's called Nature Inspiration by me. I have my, my pictures I've been photographing over the years. They're all in this book. And my mom did the quotes. So it's a nice coffee table book. So I got my picture on the left. Actually, I don't even know. Let me slip in here. Yeah, the pictures are, so you got the picture on top, quotes in the bottom. It's a nice inspirational quote. My mom did a good job with quotes, so definitely buy my book on Amazon and my website. But I'll put the links in the description. Um, this is my first book, and this is my favorite, favorite book that I've written. So, yeah. All right, guys, so thank you for tuning in to JB Nature Walk. I'll be posting every Thursday at 2 o'clock. What else I want to say? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So I'm Jabal Belly from JB Photos at Co. with my Nature and Love Type website. And I will see you guys next Thursday at 2 o'clock. Have a good day.